Hey, what's going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a premiere tutorial today. I like doing these every now and then, and we're gonna be creating this really cool opener using all the built-in tools inside of Adobe Premiere. So typically, I like to do my animations inside of After Effects. However, in 2018, we no longer have to go into After Effects to do great animations. There are amazing Premiere Pro templates that you can just drag and drop into Premiere and you can edit your own titles or any sort of graphics within a couple of seconds. And all these previews you're seeing right now are linked in the description if you're looking to save time or find inspiration for your own titles. But I want to get started on this video so you can check out those links in the descriptions to further preview some amazing Adobe Premiere templates. But in the meantime, let's get started now. So obviously this works with images or video. I'm just going to use an image as it's a little bit easier for me to work with as I'm recording a tutorial. But it works the same exact way with video, of course. So the first thing you want to do is you want to double click your shot and go to the effects controls and where it says opacity, you want to grab this pen tool and you grab it and essentially you might need to zoom out of your program window. But we're going to cut out a slither of this image here. So what we can do, hit a point down here and we'll go across our image like this. So do it like that. Perhaps we'll go across like this. And I do suggest moving far back as you can just so you can really close this up because we will animate this and you close it up just like that and we go back into our you know 75 percent view and now what we want to do is hold down alt on our keyboard click and drag this layer up to create a duplicate and the bottom layer we're going to click on inverted and it's essentially like nothing happened but now we have this mask here and but basically what we're doing is creating a nice custom uh, animation here so what we can do is go to our top layer where our mask one is selected. We'll add a keyframe for mask path and we'll move forward in time. We we'll move that keyframe forward in time. And from here we can grab our mask and move it back over here like this. So now we're going to have this cut coming in like that. And this is going to create a nice, you know, tra opening transition for us, but also going to give us some opportunity to, you know, have our text come out as well. Now what I want to do is go towards the end of our clip here. And I want to, once again, make sure the mask is selected and I want to keep animating this forward just by a little bit. And essentially this is, we'll have a come in and I'll continue to animate forward. And so now we really want to make a apparent cut here. So, so what we can do is grab the top layer, right click it and click on nest and click OK. And now what we want to do is go to the effects window, type in drop shadow. And we can just drop this on top of our nested sequence. And we'll come here towards the end and you see we have a drop shadow here. Now what you want to do is increase the softness by a little bit and also maybe the opacity to make that apparent. And now you're going to have a nice apparent, you know, cut like this and that looks pretty cool. And let's say we want to create a background here. What we can do is go to our main window here, click on this item icon down here at the bottom and click on color mat and click OK. We can set it to white or any other color you want and that's fine. And we can bring both these layers up and put the color map underneath our image. I'm gonna go back to our drop shadow and I'm actually going to increase the distance by a little bit as well to make that even more apparent. So now what we wanna do is create some opportunity for some title here that actually makes this a real you know, opener. So what we'll do is bring our nested layer up by one layer. Actually, we'll probably do it by a couple of layers here. You'll see what we're doing in a second. And we can grab our, you know, we could go up to File, New, Legacy Title and click OK. And now we can type out our title and typography is everything. So come here and we can type out our text. So I'll just do um, opener. And I'm going to use the typeface BeatBaz New. -oo. And it's a pretty good typeface. It's usually very clean. It'll make it a little bit larger. And we'll set the color actually to white, even though we're not going to be able to see it over this image, but that's fine for right now for what we're doing. And I'm just going to you know, line this right in the middle and we'll leave it for there. So click OK or click off it. We'll bring in our title and you can see we can barely see it. No big deal. So from here, what we do is we're going to create another color mat. And this one will make it black. Click OK. Click OK. We'll put it underneath our title. And from here, we'll click on the color mat. We'll grab the rectangle four point polygon mask under the opacity. We'll set the uh, mask feather to zero. And what we want to do is just use our arrow keys and we can just move this out in a straight box format like this. And we'll come here to the bottom point and we'll do the same thing, make sure that this is going to be an even edge. And we'll do the same thing on the other sides and we'll make this kind of fill up our entire title and just do one point at a time. 
All right, awesome. And now what we can do is grab our title one and our color map. We'll right click it and click on nest. Click OK. And from here, we can go here to the source window to the effects controls and we'll add a keyframe for position. We'll move this keyframe forward in time and we'll grab the X position and we'll have it come off like this. So we scroll through this real quick. We want to animate this right when this first part starts animating on. So we'll just bring this over to that cut and now it starts to animate on like this. Of course, we can bring that last keyframe in by a little bit. And then we'll also continue to animate it to the right. And when we're done here, let's grab all our layers, right click it and nest them one more time. And from here, we'll go back into our effects controls. We'll add a keyframe for scale. We'll move forward to the end. And let's go ahead and just scale in by a little bit. We'll go to like 105. And this creates just a little bit more movement into our scene. And we can even animate the X position. So we got a keyframe here. We can move forward to the last keyframe. And we can even move this over by a little bit since we're scaling in. And this is a cool way just to add this, you know, split here. And we can always add more. It's very easy. Go back into your Nessa sequence. And we can just duplicate, you know, this layer with the mask. And what we can do is just always create a new mask. And we can do one from over here if we want. Do like a bottom one here. And if you want to create another one, you might just have to duplicate the drop shadow and change the direction. And now we're able to create this other cut in here very easily. All right, and just with a little bit of just basic transform animation, we can create this opener and make it look really nice. And you can add whatever titles you want in there. But this was just a cool way to you know animate your videos or images and have an opening title in a nice creative way with these nice cuts in here. Of course, you don't have to just do these cuts for the title. You can use the cuts for any stylistic effects. So maybe you're creating like a montage and you just want to add a little bit of extra pop to it. These cuts can make this look really nice. And for more examples for titles and creating effects very similar to this, you can check out our links in the description. They'll, they'll take you to these amazing Adobe Premiere templates that are definitely groundbreaking since this is a new feature in Adobe Premiere and After Effects where you can do all your animation inside of Premiere, which is amazing. You don't even have to go to the After Effects. You can do amazing, high quality work right here in Premiere. So go ahead and check those links in the description if you're looking to save time and produce high quality work. So hopefully this video has been helpful for your Adobe Premiere endeavors. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. If you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to it because we post weekly Adobe Premiere and After Effects tutorials and hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creating.